Alright, in this video I want to show you how to replace the screen assembly on a HP Stream laptop and this will work with any model screen whether that be a um, 11, a 13, or a 14 stream. And the reason they call them 11 is because they're closer to 11 inches and you measure from one corner diagonally to the other and then of course 13 and 14, 13 inches and 14 inches um, in that order. Um, you might have a broken screen, it might be obviously cracked, it might have lines through it and or it might just not turn on, you could hear it but it's just pitch black so um, you know it's um, it's very easy to replace, don't let it scare you and you can purchase the screens used or new on Amazon, eBay, several other websites and you can get them anywhere from used from like 25-30 bucks free shipping to you know as high as 70 bucks they are plentiful in supply so they're not short on demand with these particular screens and what you're going to want to do is once you they're pretty much all the same model number uh, related to the screen size whether it be an HP Stream 11 or what have you but what you can do to double check is when we open up the screen you'll look at the model number on your HP Stream and then you will um, and then you will plug it into we'll, we'll do eBay and I'll show you that as an example so normally you would um, disconnect the battery or unplug the battery in a laptop before you uh, before you take the screen out unfortunately with this these models are a little bit difficult to get I do have a disassembly video on YouTube as well and I can link you up in the description but um, if you wanted to be double ch safe you can take the bottom off and then um, take unplug the battery you just want to make sure it's uh, you just want to make sure it's powered off if, if you know the power is on this will be lit up the power button and so you can just hold your finger down and make sure it's it's off so the first step is we're going to undo the the bezel and of course the plastic bezel is all the way around now again these will be pretty similar uh, from the 11 13 and 14 the um, 13s and 14s takes one extra step and I will show you that when we get to it so the first thing you want to do is you want to take these little plastic tabs off there are two screws holding the bezel in that these little plastic tabs are exposing there's one on one side and one on the other on the left and one on the right so let's go ahead and take these plastic covers off and the only tools you're going to need you want to need like a steak knife or a flathead screwdriver this is a real thin flathead um, and then you're going to need a, a Phillips and this sucker just pries right open see that strip see that stripping off it's just like a little piece of tape is basically what it is what I'll do is I'll take my small flathead and I'll push through it to tear through the adhesive and of course we will reapply it so I'm pushing through like a needle all the way to the end so that's that and you'll see one screw exposed right here And it's very shallow now that screw those screws are actually in there very tight and as you can see there they got really uh, shallow shallow holes there um, I had to use sort of heavier a heavier Phillips with a little bit more tor torque and friction to it so you might need to consider that and it, it you know what I did was is I um, I turned it on to its screen side and I pressed down on it I'll show you what I did was I put it down on its screen side and then I put through there and then put some weight into it so let's get the other side oh 
notice I had a little bit easier time when I got on the very very end here like on the very tip much easier and then I go down and of course insert it like a needle that one. Now this time I want to use my heavier Phillips with a, with a thicker handle and more torque and I want to place it down like this and then of course press down. Now there it goes. Very easy. Right tools make all the difference. Alright, so now we're going to take the bezel off. Now, the 11 is a little bit different than the 13s and 14s. Not that much, but there's a couple of differences. Uh, the only thing you have to, with, this is the 11. The only thing you're going to have to do is just take the bezel off. If you have a 13 or 14, stream 13 or a stream 14 or a 14Z, uh, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to prop, pry this open, which is the hinge cover. Not that big of a deal. And the 13s and 14s will have a little seam here. And you can actually hit the seam as well. So, what we're going to do is you want to try to go from the inside and take your, um, take your small flathead and go on one side. and it's going to pry open. You just want to basically catch it. And you can technically use credit cards here. I have a couple of credit cards to stick in there to so it'll hold the grip. And then I'll take my I'll take my little flathead and go on this around the outside. Yeah. Once you get a good catch on it, you're golden. And I'm just lifting up with my thumbs all the way around. And go down here on the ends. And that pops right out. And this is the 11. Like I said, on the 13s and 14s, you have to put a little bit more work to pop that open. But it worked fine. Now, with the 11s, you got two screws up here, and then you got two screws here. You don't have to worry about these down here. These, this is the hinges. Uh, so you keep the hinges intact. You're just basically taking the screen out. Your webcam, as you can see, is not connected uh, to the screen. Your webcam is actually going down back into the uh, motherboard. All right, so let's go ahead and then screw them here. The 13s and the 14s actually have a couple more screws here on the um, the screen. It'll actually have um, it'll actually have two here and two here. It's actually holding on a little bracket, and then there's two here. But it's pretty much the same simple, same same. It's pretty much the same um, same procedure. All right, so two on the bottom.
unfortunately with these particular um, screens they do you don't have the ability to upgrade the the RAM it's integrated on board so you can't increase you can't increase the RAM on any of the screens and the hard drive is actually integrated on the board too the 32 gigabyte um, I think the 14s have a bigger one in the 13s but it's integrated in the board so you can't replace the hard drive uh, I did make a long video about that and I could share that with you um, I, I could link you up to that as well pretty much what you're going to do in that situation is sacrifice your Wi-Fi card and replace it with an with a, an SSD um, SSD hard drive and then you have to basically use an external Wi-Fi card that you would hook up to like the USB port anyways so this should just easily pop open see there and that of course exposes the ribbon so it's really only one ribbon that you have to untake a lot easier than you thought huh and you just take your little flat you pry this tape open And this just pops open and that ribbon just connects to the LCD and you just pull it that's it so you take your broken screen and I was telling you about a model number just to make double sure again these are pretty common screens so you should be able to find a pretty good good one for a good price um, so that's your model number right there it's on the top left right here and it's a Nancy 11 6 B's and Bob G's and George E is and Edward and I want to show you here real quick. I'll go and plug that into um, eBay and I'll show you how easy it is to find one. Of course, to reassemble the new screen when you replace it, when you get it in, it's going to literally look identical to this one. And you're just going to loop and just reverse everything you just did. You're going to put the ribbon back in. Whoops. You're going to put the ribbon back in. And then once the ribbon's in there, you're going to fasten all the screws back and then you want to put on the bezel will just pops back on to get, make sure that this is all popped in what you could do is close it like a book and just go around it and pinch and what that'll do is that'll shut any little pockets in there and then um, with your adhesive here on your little end caps it's on pretty easily but it doesn't really grab a hold of it and it's you can't get your you can't get your finger in there so once you line it up you're going to take your uh, little little flathead maybe larger than what you originally used and then you're going to you're going to gently go down on it all right now so we're going to look for a screen for our stream i'm on ebay.com but again you could look up on google uh, or you could do amazon or what have you and as if you remember our model number on the back of the screen is n is an nancy 116 b's and boy g's and george e's and edward so let's go ahead and hit enter and immediately we have screens popping up this one looks like a great deal 27 bucks uh, for that lcd what we can do though to narrow our search we'll go buy it now which is right here and then we'll go to Lowe's first the reason is we don't really want to mess with an auction and spend the time to wait on it and what you want to do is you want to make sure it says new or used you don't want anything that's parts or repair um, this one's like 20 bucks so look at this used only 20 bucks free shipping and this is from Texas
what you're going to want to do is go in the description and make sure there's no lines or anything through it because sometimes you do have to watch for that. Grade B working pulled condition grade B has a few very minor blemishes. Now I would pass on that. You don't want anything like that. If that one that we saw initially was new, that the one we saw 30 bucks, we'll grab that one. Look at this one. You can't go wrong with this one. There's no blemishes. And this one's brand new, 21 bucks. Wow. Can't beat that. So there you go. Hope I helped.